Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've just cloned your Windows system to a new drive, maybe an SSD or a larger HDD, but your PC won't boot from it, don't panic. This is a common issue that happens for several reasons. In this video, I'll show you the exact steps to fix it so your computer can start smoothly from the new disk. The following are some common reasons why the cloned hard drive cannot be started. 1. The SSD is connected to the PC as an external disk. 2. The clone SSD is not marked as the start disk. 3. The SSD is incompatible with the BIOS launch mode. 4. The process of copying the disk was either interrupted or corrupted from the beginning. Don't worry, here's how to fix the problem. AOMI Partition Assistant to create a bootable media and boot from it to use one of its features Rebuild MBR to make your cloned HDD or SSD bootable. This problem can be easily solved without complicated codes and steps. Step 1. Select the cloned disk which cannot boot and right-click the disk to choose Rebuild MBR. Step 2. Choose a proper type of MBR for your OS. Step 3. Click Apply on the toolbar to commit the operation. If the cloned hard drive not booting after rebuilding MBR, you can try another feature boot repair to repair system boot issues. Step 1. Please click the Recover tab and select Boot Repair. Step 2. The Boot Repair tool will pop up. Please click Next to start the system's boot entries scan process. Step 3. After the process is completed, it will display the scan result, system paths, system versions, and boot status. And, all reparable boot entries will be available to select. Step 4. Select one slash multiple reparable boot entries you want to repair and click the Repair button to start the boot repair. Step 5. Wait for the repair process to finish. Once it is finished, you will get a Repair Successfully result. And that's how you can fix the issue when Windows won't boot from a clone drive. If this guide helped you, don't forget to hit like, subscribe for more Windows tutorials.